Welcome to the Healthy Transformation. I'm Jesse, and today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute spin class for beginners that is simple and very easy to follow, including a four minute warm up, a minute standing, a minute down, a true hit experience guaranteed to burn some calories, get you sweaty, all while having fun. Okay, good morning. Uh, here we are. We are going to do a 20 minute for beginners workout, but not super beginners. So if you're completely new here or completely new to spin classes, I don't suggest starting here. I've created a whole playlist targeted towards sitting, so seated. And there's about five or six videos in that uh, playlist. I suggest go through that to get to this. Today's workout is a four minute warm up and then six rounds of a minute on, minute off. Very easy to follow and then a four minute cool down for a total of 20 minutes. In this workout, we are going to go a minute up, standing, a minute down, seated. It is going to get a little sweaty. So we're just nearing the first minute of the warm up. And what I'm doing is just a, a consistent pedal stroke and slowly building until we hit that four minute mark of the warm up. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a sweaty one. So if you're completely new here, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell right next to it and comment, commenting, commenting down below. Obviously I need a coffee. Uh, make sure you've got electrolytes or water, a towel, which I obviously forgot, and your good will to push forward and complete this workout. Now, if you feel dizzy or you are not able to complete it, which is okay because this workout's a little tricky, sit down in the saddle, keep the pedal stroke going, or get off the bike. So, Two minutes, just, I'm gonna pick up the pedal speed here. And this is about a seven for out of my 10. And if you're on a Kaiser bike, because a lot of people are, this is about a 10 or 11 for me. Like a 15 is about a nine for me. Just so you can justify. So if you're completely new here, where are you from? I would love to hear from you. Uh, I love commenting to all the messages from where everybody's watching from. That's the beauty of YouTube. Not only is it free, but everywhere in the world you can watch it. So if you've got a computer on your bike, I'm sitting around at 80. Okay, so a minute left here. I'm gonna pick it up to pedal speed. And now I'm sitting about a 90. So a 90 for me is about an eight. Then after this, 45 seconds left of the warm up, I'm gonna start seated and then go up. I tried this before and I started seat, uh, standing. And then at the end of the workout, it was actually like a five minute cool down instead of a four minute cool down. I'm gonna tighten my handlebars. Now remember, it's all about softness. It's almost like you're holding eggshells, or it's almost like you can do a one finger cycle. Uh, you're not death gripping it. You're not tense. You're just very relaxed, because the legs will do the work. So three, two, one, pick. What I'll do is this is the first minute of the workout. I'm gonna pick up the pedal speed. And when we pop up, we're going to want to increase the re resistance. Why? Because otherwise what will, will happen is you'll quit. You'll, you'll bounce around too much. And we want you to stay as kind of consistent as possible. This is gonna help you when you're off the bike, going up a hill, doing rolling hills, doing whatever you want. Think of it as a rolling hill. We're going up, we're going down. We're going up, we're going down. 
for six rounds. So 25 seconds. Consistent, 90 speed. This is probably what I'm gonna do for my off uh, minute, which is about a 90. So 10 seconds or so. Okay, so take it up. Uh, you'll notice, okay, there you go. So it's consistent. I'm not popping around. You'll be able to hear clicking if you're not doing it properly. Just soft hands. And just remember to breathe. We'll grab water or a sip of water, not a, a whole lot of water. So we'll grab water in 30 seconds. Just soft, relaxed. Remember to breathe. 15. Ten. Three, two, one. Okay, take a seat. Lower the resistance. Wash it out. So remember, take a sip. Healthy AF, healthy transformation brand available in the description or in the store tab. If you're wondering about position on the spin bike, where to stand, where your handlebars should be, how high your seat should be, we created a video for that. Right here, or here. Just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. This is gonna be painful, but pain is just weakness leaving the body. 20 minutes, get sweaty, burn a lot of calories, and have fun. Five seconds, then take it up again, stand her up. And notice I'm not swaying. I got a bike, I would be swaying. This I'm just trying to keep consistent. It's tightening the core. And notice my handlebars are far enough ahead that my knees aren't hitting it. If you wanted to, you could back up a little bit. Whatever you feel comfortable with. 30 seconds. Ten, I know you got this. Come on, I know you can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit her back down, lower the resistance. So we got a minute here. Go to my left right. Oh, I need to take the top off. You're curious about what to wear in a spin class because they get sweaty. I've created a video for that as well. I explain the differences between indoor cycling and cyclist attire with a chamois and what I'm wearing for both men and women. So check that video out, it'll definitely help. I'll wear this for 20 minute classes. Anything longer, I go to a shanty. Okay, 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Remember, take, take up the resistance. Round three, here we go. A little bit more, I notice I'm clicking. Whatever feels com comfortable for you guys. Remember, breathe and a consistent pedal stroke. Now, if you wanted to, this has drop bars. Just notice I get a little bit further down. It's comfortable for me, but if it's not for you, don't do it.
20 here. Soft hands. Three, two, one. Sit her back down. Take the resistance off. Wash it out. So you always want to be hydrated. Drink lots of water before, or not too much, but and make sure you're hydrated after. After this video, I prefer not to do too much stretching after the workout. Some people want to take this video, du duplicate it, and do more. And that's totally okay. It's just experience level. You'll all get there. So because of that, I don't put uh, stretching in after. But I did create a video here, here uh, for that as well, answering all of the commonly asked questions that we get with spin instructors. So check that out first. So five here, getting a little sweaty. Two, one, take it up, add some resistance. And just remember to breathe. I'm starting to breathe a little heavy here. So remember, soft hands. Let your legs do the work. Thirty. Okay, halfway. A little bit of sweat. Twenty. Come on, you can do this. I know you can. No excuses here. You can totally do this. 10, it's only gonna get harder. We can do this, come on. Five. Three, two, one. Sit her back down, lower the resistance. I believe that's four rounds, which gives us two more. Notice I took the resistance too much and I started popping. It's all about feel when you're on the bike. The bike's kind of part of me right now. Or I'm part of it. So, down below in the description box, let me know what do you like about it, what don't you like about it. I'm building these for you. My channel, The Healthy Transformation, is a collaborative of many experts in their own field, many trainers all over the world with different styles and different techniques just trying different things all in one spot. That's why we created it, it's a community. So if you like it, let us know down below. If you don't, let us know what we can fix. Two, one, add some resistance, take her up again. I think this is round five. So not many to go. It's only gonna get a little bit harder. I took on a bit too, too much resistance. I just feel like I'm going up more of a hill now which is okay. We want you to have fun with it. Add resistance if you want to. If you don't feel well, sit back down in the saddle. It's all about saddle time. And if you want, be a little bit higher. For me, it's better when I'm a little bit lower. The bike fitted to me for a outdoor bike. So I'm hunched over a little bit more, but it's more comfortable for me. Sitting upright is, is hard now that I'm more of a cyclist. So seven, five here. I know you can do this, come on. And one, back in the saddle, lower the resistance. That happens sometimes. I'm on SPDs, so quick in, a consistent pedal stroke. We created a video on that as well. And it talks about pushing down, pulling up, pushing down, pulling up. So it's consistent all the way through. Getting a full leg workout. So 30 seconds here. It's only getting harder. We got one more round. I know you can do this. Who's getting sweaty with me? Anybody creating a pool down below? Because I can 
start to see some sweat coming off. 15 seconds. Okay. Just remember, breathe. If you need to, hydrate. We can do this. Four, three, let's do this. One, one last round. Take up the resistance. And just breathe. Six rolling hills reminds me of uh, Tofino. Where would a 20 minute workout that has rolling hills for a minute on, minute off remind you of? Let me know down below. Okay, 30 seconds, it's halfway here. I'm talking to get your mind out of it. All you have to do is listen. Or put in your own music and mute me. 15 here, I know you can do this. Come on, you got this. 10, weakness is just pain leaving the body. Okay, come on, two, one. Boom, down, mic drop, congratulations. That is a true hit experience. High intensity interval training. If you're out of breath as I am. Thank you. A little sweaty. I filmed this workout before and I really didn't like it. So I changed a bunch of things. Now I'm refilming it because I believe in always getting 1% better every time. And you should too. It just takes consistency. Space it out. I know you can do this. So great job. We've got three minutes left in our cool down. Just spin it out. This is about a consistent a resistance to what I was doing. I can slowly take it down a bit more, pick up the pedal speed, and wash the legs. Just remember, hydrate, stretch afterwards, or double it up, triple it up if you feel like it. Just do it. I think that's Nike, so no, maybe not, just do it, just kill it. So I'm about a 90, which, you know, after this workout, might feel like a 90 right now. Coming up on the two minute warning. That means 18 minutes of hard work. Great job, guys. Two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the pedal speed. I'm gonna drop the resistance a little bit more. Just enough that I can feel it. Speed is now about 100. It feels a little painful, but it's only gonna help. seconds here. Okay, minute. Okay, we're gonna just really push it here. Add a little bit more, pick up that pedal speed. Let's see what you can do. So, I'm at 30 seconds, okay, take her down. 30 seconds left here. Thank you for watching. Remember, we create these videos for you guys. So, 
love them, smash the like button, share them with your friends, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thank you. If you want to find me, I'm on Instagram, the healthy letter T across all platforms. Five seconds here. I hope you have a wonderful day. You killed it. Activity completed.